Science is amazing, there's always something new. Here's a cool experiment that you should never do. It's really done by magic, so tell your folks don't sue. This is not a theme song. It's a legal disclaimer. You found the magic laboratory. Welcome, I'm Dr. Scott Green, JD. Because remember kids, a, a jurist doctor, doctor is a doctor. a doctor. That's right, wow. We're gonna have some fun today. Have you ever taken a bath and been a little worried about the drain? Did your grown-up tell you not to worry because only water can go in the drain and it could never suck you up? Well, today, thanks to science, we'll find out if something big, like you, can go through a small hole, like the drain. For today's experiment, we'll need two cups and something to poke them with. That's this little safety pin right here. You're gonna poke a hole right through the middle of both cups. Try to get it as perfectly aligned as possible. You're also gonna need a loop of tape. I made mine a little bit earlier. Put that right on there, and then you're gonna turn this cup upside down and put it on the other cup. This cup will represent the tub, which is where you go when you take a bath, and this cup will represent wherever the water goes after it's through the drain. I actually don't know what happens if someone gets sucked through the drain, but I bet it's really scary. The pinhole is the drain, and we need something to represent you. That'll be this golf ball right here. Now the golf ball is way too big to fit through the pinhole, just like you seem to be too big to fit through the drain. So there you are in the tub when in comes some water. The golf ball can't go through the pinhole without water, so let's add some. Just one little drop of water. That's all it takes. It's done. The water going into that hole creates a swirling vortex, which creates an equilibrium of pressure, which can even suck a giant golf ball through a tiny hole, because check this out. Wow, that's a neat science experiment for some cups and a golf ball. Hey, I'll be honest, that probably won't happen to you when you take a bath. It's just a small chance, but hey, if it's even a little bit possible, why are your grown-ups so insistent you take baths so often? For the Magic Laboratory, I'm Dr. Scott Green, JD. Because remember, a, a jurist doctor, doctor is a doctor. doctor! Scott Green is a professional magician and not a scientist. He's accomplishing these feats with magic. Magic, that's the joke. Do not try this at home. That would be stupid even for you. It's a legal disclaimer. It's a legal disclaimer.